Good morning everybody and welcome back to the farm. It's a Sunday today and today is probably going to be one of our most real videos ever. We've been releasing videos from our farm in Northern Portugal for a year now and it felt like a really good time to take you along for just an ordinary day. Show you what we get up to and share a little bit about real life here on the farm. We have some very cool friends coming over for lunch. And we're also going to be talking to you a little bit about a couple of super cool gadgets from our friends at EcoFlow, including this badger down here, the most powerful and compact AC and heating unit on the market, the EcoFlow Wave 2. Our good friends at EcoFlow are all about capturing, storing, and now using energy in a smart and innovative way. And their newest additions aim to simplify everyday living. We're starting to prepare for the summer here on the farm. This badger here is the fastest air conditioning unit in the West. It can basically lower or raise temperatures by 10 degrees centigrade in less than five minutes. Amazing. So the EcoFlow Wave 2 can run in eco mode for up to eight hours. And if you don't need the ambient noise like we do, you can put it in sleep mode. So all of this can be absolutely silent. And best thing of all, you can control it on your telephone with the snazzy EcoFlow app. You guys out there all know that I hate plumbing. And if I don't have to do it, that's fab. This badger here, of course, requires no installation, no drilling big holes through walls, nothing like that. Um, and it's drainage free, so rock and roll to no plumbing. It takes up very little space and you can pick it up and take it anywhere with you. You can charge it in five different ways, including with your AC mains. All right, that's it. Told you enough about the EcoFlow Wave 2 air conditioning and heating unit. Thanks very much for sitting through that. We've got a party to prepare for now, so if you are interested, there are, of course, links below in our description. Okay, so fair amount of work to do down here before our friends come over and we have some nice lunch. Um, 
First things first, I think I've got to get rid of those wild flowers over there. They're starting to go to seed. So I'm going to get the strimmer out and just strim down all of those, tidy it up a little bit. Then we're going to mow the lawn. I know Crusoe will be especially excited about that one. He particularly loves a lawnmower. So lots to do down here. Crusoe's just arrived. <laughs> Brilliant. Hello, buddy. What are you doing? I thought you were having your breakfast. Are you busy? Yeah. Who's coming over later? Trixie. Trixie's coming over later. Yes, she is, isn't yeah. she? That'll be fun, won't it? Yeah. Well, there you have it. Crusoe's ready for a day's work as well. So it's just time to crack on. What have you got there, boy? A couple of pieces of wire. So there we have it, the lawn's mowed. Small things make lovely differences and that looks pretty beautiful. I'm so pleased with this lawn. Anyway, I think next job, turn on the fridge, put some beers in it and we'll get ready for when the scotters arrive. And I'll have a look at that olive tree too. Perhaps give it a bit of a prune. So obviously, as a mum to two little boys, the biggest hindrance to productivity for me is when the boys are awake and they just need full time looking after. So they're both occupied at the minute. Sawyer, as you know, is asleep and Crusoe is down mowing the lawn with his dad. So I'm going to take up the compost for the compost heap and get some broad beans for today's lunch. We have been so loving being able to get things for well, get things to eat from our vegetable garden for the first time. We've had mange too, we've had potted peas, we've had broad beans, we've had onions. And everything is starting to really, really get big and exciting. We've planted loads of lettuce, loads of tomatoes, and the potatoes are just thriving. You'll be pleased to know all of those that were very concerned about my caterpillar situation. That actually doesn't seem too bad. I still have loads of cabbages. Um, and my broccoli and cauliflower and all that is still also doing really well. So um, the cabbage, the caterpillar situation is under control. Um, but yeah, so my favourite place on the farm up in this vegetable garden. It's so peaceful and so beautiful. Often I have the chickens for company, although today they seem to have disappeared to the other side of the farm. And um, yeah, I'm just going to grab some broad beans. I'm going to make a broad bean and asparagus quiche for oh, our picnic. That's disappointing. I am desperately trying to grow basil, but I'm really struggling with growing basil. I've got a few seedlings here that are doing all right, um, but most of them are really struggling and half of them haven't even sprouted. So if anyone's got any tips on growing basil from seed, I'd be so grateful. I've looked in all the garden centers. Nobody seems to be selling established basil plants around. So yeah, anybody who knows what they're doing with basil, please let me know in the comments below. What 
a special thing it is to be able to come into my vegetable garden to get something to use to make lunch for friends. That is what it's all about, really. Right, I think that's about it. We're going to get off here today. Let me take the peas on them up here. Something I learned recently, Monge too, there is only so much of this stuff I could eat, but they, they really are lovely. And we've tried lots of different things with them, so it's been a fun experiment, but there have been days where I just haven't needed Monge too. So you end up with peas on the, the plant that have gone a little bit over, like this one, which you can see the peas are just starting to be visible and swollen within the pod. Um, so that's no longer delicious. So you leave that there. And then it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually curls like this one. And you leave those on there. And Joao was saying we'll pick them in June, July time. And these will then be the seeds for the next crop, which is so cool. And just like that, we start having cycles on the farm of all our own produce. Perfect. Okie dokie. Wait, You're having peas. Come on. Delicious. <coughs> Nap time for the big one. I've got about an hour until everybody gets here. And I haven't even stopped. How are you doing, my darling? Yeah, good, thanks. I've been prodding the broad beans and I'm about to go into the kitchen. Oh, nice. How are you doing? Yeah, I saw Joao's doing something up there on the... Oh, yeah, I've just been up there. So cool. He's made climbing stakes for the runner beans out of the bamboo. Really? Yeah. I, I've just been looking down there when I've been cutting. There's so much bamboo still, man. Well, it's maybe a good thing, because yeah. I was just saying how we might run out soon. I wonder if we should let them grow thin and tall so that we could get some tall sticks again yeah, and start like farming our bamboo okay, so that we've got a use for it you know we've got several areas on the farm you know a couple up the top there i think yeah. we'll do it up there not down on the lawn okay if that's all right with you bamboo just looks gnarly <laughs> i really hate it now <laughs> the trauma by okay. the way 56 percent charged whilst i was time lapsing from no from two percent yeah off the fridge battery. Yeah. That is epic. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's it. just like a handy little thing that you pull out and then it's like, okay, cool. It's I've got super a fridge cool if you're camping, isn't it? Like I can see a camping scenario where you've got the fridge, you've got the Delta Pro, you've got the air conditioning unit. So well done, Yeah, well you're done. You're making then. us smile a lot today. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. And um, how's the battery on the fridge after that? Is it still good enough for the actual fridge freezer? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I know you I get I 40 check. hours of like unplugged fridge freezer time on that battery. Is it? It's epic, isn't it? it that really is. Anyway, we'll tell you about the fridge in a second. How does it look after the strimming? Yeah, it looks, I don't know, there's something about, I was saying earlier, there's something about it that, you know, you get used to the scruffiness and then it all gets cleaned away. It's like, I should have done that a week ago. Is it? Know, yeah. Have you seen that EcoFlow um, lawnmower, by the way? No. It's like a, a wireless automated lawnmower. It's called the Blade. And it just like spins across your lawn. It even has a, a, a lawn sweeping function. Did we get one of those? No. Looks yeah. cool though. Uh, okay, you go. For it. <laughs> <laughs> when we get in our lawn, mode. We, are, we know. Everybody knows my lawn is very precious to me. Hmm. An EcoFlow lawnmower. Interesting. Well, we'll keep you informed as to whether we get one of those, and if we do, of course, we'll let you know whether it's any good or not. Knowing EcoFlow, it'll be super snazzy. That, by the way, everybody, of course you know that it always has been one of our sort of nemesis in the very beginning when we first got here we were thinking oh let's make that the first project of course we've been doing all sorts of other things since then but we haven't really featured the building very much in any of our videos and the reason for that is it's not such a nice place to go but i think in our next episode or the one after that i'm not sure just yet we're going to be doing a derelict house tour so keep an eye open for that we'll be showing you all around the inside of it and we'll also 
be making sure that we give you some ideas of what we're going to be doing with it, timelines for it, um, and well, ideas. So stick around for that. Right, finally in the kitchen. Now, my plan, first of all, is to do something with these lemons. I'd like to get the juice out into some lemon ice cubes, which we made last year, and they were so yummy in drinks. And then I thought, in the peels, I might see if I can make something of like a little frozen lemon posset, which would be really cool for a picnic. Love a picnic. They are nearly on their way, so I'm going to go get myself ready. I'll be back in a second. <sighs> Feels nice to be wearing something that isn't for digging in the vegetable garden. Okay, I think just over there, I can see the Scotters car pulling down the driveway. Fantastic. Um, if you don't know who the Scotters are, they're good friends of ours and they live around about 15 minutes away from us, just on the other side of the mountains over there. Um, they've also got a YouTube channel. If you haven't already checked it out, pop over and have a look. Can't wait. Anyway, there's Badger. Badger. Hello, John. How are you, mate? Very good, very good. I have bought... Dude. Cold beers. Ready to go. Very, very good. But I think we can definitely do a lot better than this box. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is my new EcoFlow fridge bag. What this, do you think? Well, it looks unbelievable. Yeah, doesn't it, eh? And it's absolutely freezing. Chilly, chilly. Let's get those beers in here. Whoa. Some red wine as well. And an ice maker. Yeah, an ice maker too. We're going to test that out in a minute. So what's been going on on the farm? We have had our roof delivered and it's on. Okay. And I can't wait, I cannot wait to uh, get the inside finished. That's for the barn, is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Very good. So you got a green roof, I saw. We did in the end. I yeah. think we were going to go for the traditional red, yeah. but I think it just sort of blended in with all of our trees and all the other bits and bobs on the farm. But Very it made good. much more sense for the view to have green rather than red. Right, okay. Um, but you guys might think, cheers Badger, you guys might think that's a lot of beer, but we do have a South African rugby player <laughs> with us right now, so very good. I see what you mean about that. We should have done it weeks ago, love. What's that? You're swimming. It looks really nice. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it now? This is a feast, man. I'm excited. Well done. All right, before we get this party started, and I know Badger is itching to get started, <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about the fridge? Oh, the fridge. The fridge. I am so excited about this fridge. Wow, my little fridge. Yeah, it's an icebox thing. Look at that down there. There we go. Come on. Oh, 
guys, this looks so cool, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Me too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a trade secret. Yes, I'm sure we can start. Let's go get some plates. <laughs> That's the way to work up an appetite. So, check this out. Feels quite alien to pour water into an electrical device. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I am excited to see how long this takes to make ice. Do it. Okay, stop. Oh. Lovely. A toddler. Oh. Right. Maybe up. We are in a second, but you've got to give it some time. You see this number? You've got to wait for that to go down. So this is an that? industry first. The first integrated fridge, freezer and ice maker in a portable fridge. Okay. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. And don't forget the battery pack for smart freezer. charging. Love it. And like the air conditioning unit, it can all be controlled on your app. So you can connect all of your EcoFlow devices onto the app and then control them all remotely. It's very new age. So I can be shopping in Little and I can go, do you know what? Let's turn on the fridge and the freezer. Crank that. Cool down my drinks. And it's just beeped. You, darling, will love this because you can fit 60 cans of beer in here. Or Coca Cola or if Coca you like Coca Cola. Yeah. 60 cans of 33, that 330 litre milk. 60, 60 cans 60 is a cans. lot. It's a lot, isn't it? How many, you did you bring, how many did you bring, Badger? 62, mate. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it might be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we've Fine. got the budget box for the extra <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A warm box. Is a warm box. There's no ice yet, but we're being patient. So you can be in Lidl and you can message this if you've preloaded with water. To just make ice, to for, make when ice for when you get home. To make ice when you get home, yeah. So, the ice machine is going to make ice in 12 minutes, which is very exciting. That's incredible. Isn't it? Yeah. And this will refrigerate to 0 degrees in approximately 15 Dad, minutes from the time you turn it on. Bubbles? So the other thing that's really cool is that you can charge this direct from the solar panels. Unlike previous models where you needed to plug it into a battery pack or bank like our Delta Pro or our River 2 Pro, this you can charge directly from the solar panels. It will charge in 2.1 hours and give you 40 hours of wireless fridge time. Isn't that amazing? Not yet, buddy. We've got to wait 12 minutes. But we're all very excited. Don't open it yet, okay? Let's just leave it to make ice. Anyway, I am super excited about these products. This is something that is going to fit really nicely into our lives here on the farm. And I can't wait for it to find its permanent home in our outdoor kitchen, which we are planning to build in, I don't know, a few months' time. Can it turn into ice? Whoa. I just want to look. Are you ready yet? Are you ready yet? Oh! Yay! Yay! Good job! Are you going to share, Crusoe? I think get one. Thank you. Thank you. Wow! Get again! If this is something that you think would be great in your own life and I know loads of you watch from South Africa and I can just see this on a like classic Kruger camping trip or safari outing or something like that then please use the links in our description below to check out the EcoFlow website and make any purchases even if you're not ready to purchase it now it really helps to support our channel if you click on our links in the description so they're all there for you go and check it out yeah take a look take a look anyway I want to go and have a picnic and a cold drink and some ice. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Yeah.